Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and today I'm going to show you how to draw that my design and that design was sold on Adobe Stock more than 341 times. You will find that design and my portfolio below that video. And if you're interested to draw that design and you want to know who and why buy this type of designs, then keep watching my video. And now guys, I want to invite you to my Telegram channel where you will find a lot of posts about stocks, about selling designs on stock. And if you're interested to know more about selling designs on stock, then come to my Telegram channel. The link below this video. Here you see my Adobe Stock Contributor page and here you see my best sellers. And here is our design, what I'm going to show you how to draw it. I have already two tutorials with my best sellers. It's uh, that tutorial with that star and tutorial with that ticket. If we go to my today's sales, here you will see that the star was sold four times. It's uh, normal for that star. I have sales with that star every day. And if you want to be successful on stocks and want to make money on stocks and want to have more than, for example, five, six, seven hundred dollars or one thousand dollars per month, then you need to be not only a graphic designer, you as well need to understand what people want. You need to understand what your buyers want. You need to understand what people want. And you need to understand when you create your designs, who and why will be buy your design. And it's the main questions for every your design on stocks. And who buys these designs and why they work for the buyer? This element is suitable for a variety of purposes. Banners, certificates, packaging and others. Gold, glitter and rev all these symbols, quality and success. And it's a ready-made element. The buyer doesn't need to change anything. They just take that element and put on the product or packaging. And it's a timeless effect. The theme, the best, never goes out of style. And if you will create commercial designs, your designs will be sell and you will make good money on stocks. Okay, guys, and now let's go to that my design. Well, guys, here you see my original design, exactly that design on my Adobe stock. And the size of my workspace is 4000 pixels to 4000 pixels. And uh, let me show you all details of that design. The first and the main here is colors. It's gold and black. Here you see how many colors has my gradient. So below that video you will find illustrator file with all gradients from this tutorial because there is too much colors to make uh, gradients in that tutorial. And how I create that gradient, I like to find the real photo of the gold and take colors from real gold and make gradient. And the first and the main is the brilliant here. Let's look at the brilliant. Let's look at the brilliant. It's pretty, pretty easy. Let's ungroup it. And the main part here is three polygons and the round, the circle and the ellipse. The polygon tool is here, okay, and the ellipse tool is here. I'm going to show you every part, how I create every part of the design. If you never work in Adobe Illustrator and you don't know how to work in Adobe Illustrator, please go to my free plan on 30 days. You will find out how to work in Adobe Illustrator and you will find there 30 tutorials with tasks and in 30 days you will be a strong user of Adobe Illustrator. And let's move on. Okay. 
and now here I have different triangles. As you see here different triangles and with two gradients brown gradient and gold gradient. As well you will find all these gradients in the file below. How to create triangle? You go to polygon tool right here free and here we have triangle. And just here you play with triangle you just inside the ellipse just rotate triangles and create the shape of the brilliant. So it's about that. About that main shape. Here I have five different ellipses with golden gradient and one with black gradient. Okay, I have the same gradient here but I have the different angle of that gradient. For example here minus 90, here 90, here minus 90, again here 0. So you can play with gradient as you like. The main here make the different angles to make it uh, more volume. For example, you can play with gradient as you like, till you like the result. You can state like this, for example. The main here, the gradients should be with different angles. Okay, let's move on. What about that shine part? Let's take line tool and create the line with here white color the size let it be here 10 and the shape that one okay now transform rotate 90 copy ctrl g group it ctrl c ctrl c ctrl f copy and paste and now rotate and make like this. Okay guys and now we need the light in the center. Let's take ellipse tool, create the ellipse and let's take here gradient. We need gradient from white here, the color code 6F to black color here, the color code 6 zeros. And opacity screen now put it here move the slider in that place now group it make it a little smaller for example like like this and put in this place okay the next part is uh, the ref here. Here I have the gradient. Here as well I have the one gradient. And let's create the shapes. You can take for example pen tool. Make the shape like this. Take curvature tool for example and play with the shape a little like that and transform reflect vertical copy put in that place now make the copy make like this you can create different shapes or you can copy and paste it as you like it like that and of course let's make ellipses. Okay, let it be like this, make it smaller. And for example, let's take ellipse tool, create the ellipse with the stroke, make it a little smaller, just group it, Ctrl G and you need to Put your 
element straight on the path of the ellipse like this the first uh, five six elements can be the same size and after that you need to make it uh, smaller and thinner what i mean for example the next one here make it thinner and smaller like that okay and again here you can use for example two three elements with that size size and the next one smaller and one more smaller for example here and one more here you can as well make it smaller okay for example let it be like this let's group elements without ellipse ctrl g and transform reflect vertical copy put in that place now you can delete the ellipse okay we create the ref like that okay uh, and one advice you can use gradient like me here or you can take gradient tool and play with gradient and make for example gradient like this more smooth gradient i would say so here as you want it and now about that ribbon let's take here gradient take rectangle tool create the rectangle now add anchor point tool add the anchor here let's put it up now let's take gradient make uh, one rectangle here and copy put in that place select both shapes now shape builder tool hold alt and delete unwanted parts okay now select ctrl g group it and effect warp arc uh, 90 degrees 90 percent and vertical okay object expand appearance and transform reflect vertical copy rotate like this now delete these shapes and send the ribbons to back for example like this let's make like this okay let's look at it you can rotate a little and put in that place okay it's ready and now the next is uh, best here you see the volume on the text let's write best okay let's make it a little closer now create outlines object path offset path set them seven okay ungroup now let's group the first text ctrl g and make the gold color and now let's select the second text and group it and as well make it with golden color and the first text uh, make it with gradient like this okay now 
copy and paste the first text, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, and send to backward, a little to the left, the copy and a little up, and opacity multiply. And do the same here, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, send to backward, and a little to the right and down, and white color. Okay, now you see the volume here, you can move uh, the shape a little like this, and the same with the white color. Okay, let's see. So here you see the volume and uh, copy and paste the back text and send it to backward and a little to the right and down and make it with, for example, black color to add the shadow like this. And now you here have the volume on your text. And here some words about that crown. Um, you can make it on that design or you can not make it. It's no matter here. And uh, here the main uh, is uh, the crown. You can find the photo of the crown uh, in uh, Google and uh, just take pen tool and make the shape of the crown with help of pen tool. And here the sole and about uh, that shape here I have a black and white gradient with um, opacity 50, with uh, transparency 50%. Okay. So if we delete that element, it will be as well great design. Okay, guys, that's all about that design. If you want, you can try to recreate the design. You will find all gradients below this video in the um, Illustrator file. And you can try to make design like this. You can try, uh, try it other word, other text, for example, VIP or uh, just you can write here gold or price something like this well guys that's all for today hope you like my tutorial if yes give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials in adobe illustrator or in the next videos about the graphic design bye bye guys Mwah.